Uh, this is a uh, collaborator of my talk, my work, uh, Dr. Otani in NST and Koshino, Dr. Takoshino in Tokyo Institute of Technology and Dr. Takagi in University of Tsukuba. Uh, sorry. Uh, my, my, today I, 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 I would like to talk two topics. One is the uh, electronic structure of, uh, of uh, surface, surface of graph, graphite uh, slabs, not the graphene, but the graphite. And then, uh, uh, then the next topic is the electronic structure of graphite and the, under the electric field. Uh, uh, this, uh, uh, um, all, 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 all the all the topics, uh, all, all the topics in this uh, talk have been uh, have been uh, already published or will be published in this uh, uh, manuscript. So, if you want to know the detail of detail of my talk, I please check the. Uh, this abstract um, manuscript. So first, I'd like to show the purpose and uh, of the of my talk of my of, of my research and uh, and and list the result. Uh, in the first part, I would like to explore the acting structure of of, of graphite slab with long hydral stacking arrangement or 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 ABC stacking arrangement. In uh, in this part, we get the. Uh, a new surface surf localized state uh, that uh, which is classified as the edge state of graphite non ribbons with zigzag edges, and, and according to this uh, surface localized state, uh, uh, long header graphite slab exhibit the uh, uh, surface of long header graphite graphite exhibit the ferromagnetic spin orderings. And then the next part, I'd like to uh, know the how the electronic structure. Uh, depend on the external electric field. In this part, we find that the uh, uh, electron injection into nearly free electron state is possible, and then due to this electron injection, we can get the, the we can get the same electron system to the um, alkali or alkali acid metal uh, graphite intercalation compound without without the uh, metals. So let me let me start with the magnetism of the surface of rhombohedral graphite. Here is a uh, uh, geometric structure of rhombohedral graphite uh, or ABC stacking graphite. In the case the uh, uh, graphene layer stacked in ABC A uh, Maran and then 10% the of the natural graphite Possess the uh, ABC stacking structure, and then uh, and and now uh, in this part, I would like to uh, uh, I would like to know the electronic structure, the detailed electronic structure of uh, this uh, long header graphite, because the long header graphite uh, is a is a AB bipartite lattice, not only in the in the in each layer, but also the uh, normal to the layers. So, uh, so the so the in this system uh, uh, could be induced a uh, uh, certain uh, induced the surface surface or edge uh, localized state on on the surfaces, as in the case of zigzag graph and Libron. So uh, my talk is strongly related to, to the first part is strongly related to the edge state of graph and Libron. So. First, I'd, I'd like to briefly explain the, what is the edge state. Uh, edge state is, uh, is first, first, uh, first demonstrated by the Professor Fujita on the uh, graphene ribbon with zigzag edges. Uh, when we prepare the graphene ribbon with zigzag edges, in that case, we, we get a flat dispersion band, which is, which is absent in the bulk graphite uh, energy band. And then, and then this front, uh, at, at this uh, at this point, uh, which corresponds to the zone boundary of one dimensional Brillouin zone, the flat band state is completely localized at the H carbon atomic side. <coughs> Sorry. And then, uh, uh, by decreasing the wave number while approaching the gamma point, the state penetrates inside. And then, finally, at, at this point, which corresponds to the uh, 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 
are one third of the, uh, this uh, uh, one dimensional Brillouin zone. The state, uh, the state is, is, is completely delocalized through the graphing, 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 graph, graph, graphing, all, all the region of graphing. And according to this, uh, this flat dispersion, emergence of this flat dispersion band, and the graphing non ribbon exhibit a very magnetic, uh, no, sorry, uh, uh, as magnetic ordering uh, at, 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 in, uh, along the edges, the, as, 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 we, as we saw the, uh, Professor Lewis uh, slide, uh, spin is uh, ferromagnetically aligned, and uh, between the edges, the spin is anti ferromagnetically coupled. And then the, the edge state is not an uh, end. And uh, I, I, now I, I'd like to emphasize that the edge state is not only emerge on the graphing levels, but also emerge as a network system, uh, which which is uh, which is which is classified as a AB bipartite system, uh, uh, and also the network is drawn in one stroke. So next slide shows an example of the uh, of the. Lattice system which induce the edge state. This is a, a very famous uh, uh, lattice uh, diamond structure, and 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 we performed a tight binding, single orbital tight binding calculation on the on this diamond. We get the this energy band, and then the, uh, and and we 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 and and then when we form the. Uh, uh, Surfaces, uh, one one surfaces on the on, on the diamond lattice, and the, in that case uh, we get the flat dispersion band at 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 around the k point, and then the, and at the k po at the k point the wave function is completely localized at the topmost layer of the diamond structure, and then and then the, uh, 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 as you may know that the diamond structure is. Is it, it by 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 by, by flatten the atomic layer and increase the interlayer, and then uh, the situation is like this, and then and, and we get the rhomb uh, graphite. So the rhomb graphite essentially induces a, a similar edge localized the flat dispersion band. So here is a, a calculation method used in this work. Uh, we we use a local density approximation with the effective Effective screening medium method, which is developed by the by Dr. Otani and Professor Sugino, and detail is written in this uh, in this manuscript, so please check it. And as a, as a parameter is uh, shown here. So here is the electronic energy band of the uh, uh, long-header graphite with eight atomic layers. As you can see, the some are. Uh, unusual structure at the Fermi energy here, and to 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 clarify the clarify what happened at the Fermi energy, we uh, we we focus on this region. So uh, we can see the flat dispersion band around uh, around the K point, and furthermore, this flat dispersion band flat dispersion band split into. Uh, the lower and upper uh, band. So, uh, from this result, uh, uh, we, we from this result, uh, we, we we can ex expect that 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 the uh, long header graphite exhibit a certain magnetic ordering on 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 the surfaces. So, next is the uh, wave function distribution of this flat dispersion band. Uh, at this point, I, I mean the K point. The flat dispersion band is completely localized at the uh, topmost or bottommost layer of uh, long hydrographite. Here, this one is a uh, wave function of the alpha spin, and this one is a uh, uh, beta spin. And then, the, uh, decreasing the wave number, uh, I mean, that uh, approaching the k point, uh, the state loses its localized nature. Uh, as you can see, the state extends uh, almost four for region of graphite. So the, uh, from this uh, distribution, uh, 
we can conclude that the this flood dispersion band is classified as the edge state. And the next is the uh, uh, spin density uh, of, of, of the uh, surfaces. Here is the uh, 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 spin density of the top most, uh, sorry, bottom, bottom most layers. As you can see, the uh, surface of the here graphing exhibit a fairly magnetic spin ordering. Uh, majority spin is local, localized at the A side, while the minority spin is localized at the B side. And more interestingly, uh, the polarized, polarized electron spin on the top, sorry, bottom most and the top most layer is coupled in antiferromagnetically way. So, uh, from this uh, spin distribution, uh, uh, we can also conclude that the flat band state is, uh, is classified as the edge state. Next one is, uh, uh, so, uh, how to extend the flat band region in the brilliant zone. In the case, uh, due to the small inter-layer inter electron hopping, the region is very small and from the almost circular uh, region. And then the next, uh, uh, I'll show the, what happens when we apply the electric field nowhere to the uh, layers. Uh, uh, under the 0.2 volt power strong, the ferromagnetic state turned to the ferromagnetic state. Uh, the calculated magnetic moment is a uh, 0.7 volt magnet per square nanometers. So let me let me move to the next topic. Uh, next, I, I'd like to know the what uh, what happened when we apply the electric field to the uh, graphite. Uh, in, in, in this part, uh, the graphite is not a long header, but the conventional AB stacking graphite. And then here we would like to explore the, is it possible to inject the carrier into nearly for electron story? Why? Uh, why? Why I'd like to I, I focus on the near free electrons because uh, uh, near free electron state is a very important sta electron state uh, in the graphite intercalation compound. Uh, in the case of lithium doped graphite intercalation compound, uh, near free electron state cross the ferrum energy and form the fer uh, ferrum surfaces at the gamma point. Indeed, the recent uh, experiment clearly shows the existence of uh, circular ferrum surfaces at the center of the uh, brilliant zone, and then, and then, and then the nearest free electron state cross the ferrum energy at the gamma point. So, uh, in this talk, I, 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 I would like to uh, explore the, is it possible to get 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 the physical is physical uh, get the same electron system with without uh, doping the metal atoms. So, so here is a calculation method. Most of parties uh, all the parties the same as the previous uh, topic. And here is a calculation model using this work. Uh, we we put put a, uh, uh, some layer graphite into the to between the two electrodes and apply the electric, electric field between these two electrodes. So, first I'll show the, uh, what happened, uh, how the electronic structure modulated by the electric field. Uh, sorry, here, first I, I will show the what happened the uh, electric, electric structure of monorayer graphite, I mean the graphene, uh, is modulated by the electric field. Uh, as you can see, the, by applying the electric field, the uh, nearly free electron state uh, uh, soon shift downward and uh, cross the ferro energy. So from this result, uh, we, can, we, can, we can inject the electron into the nearly free electron state. And then next slide uh, shows a, a graphite slab with, uh, 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 which, which consists of eight atomic layers without electric field and with electric field. Uh, and, uh, zero electric field case, the nearly free electron state uh, in, or interlayer band state uh, located above the six, uh, sorry, three EB, three B EB above the ferrum energy, while the under the uh, electric field of 0.5 volt pound strong, as you can see, the nearly free electron state has shift downward and across the ferrum energy, and we can inject the uh, electron into the this band. So according to this uh, 
according to injection of electrons into the interlayer band, uh, we can get the isotropic ferrum surfaces in this system, which is, which is the same as that of the uh, uh, alkali or alkali stopped graphite intercalation compound. Here, here I'll show the, how the linear electron st state depend on the external electric field. Uh, by increasing the electric field, the uh, NFE position uh, gradually, uh, uh, gradually shift downward, and then at this point, uh, cross the ferrum energy, and then and then this this uh, this, uh, this panel shows that the, shows the uh, threshold voltage which which where the uh, uh, near free electron state cross the ferrum energy as a function of the number of graphene la graphite layers. By increasing the graphite layer, the threshold voltage gradually decrease uh, decrease. So if we prepare the very very thick uh, graphite, uh, we can uh, more easily achieve the carrier injection into the near electron state. So next, uh, I will, sorry, yeah, I've skipped that slide, and then let me summarize my talk. Uh, uh, first part, I, I, I find the edge state uh, on the surface of rhombohedral graphite, and the next, second part is, uh, is, is the second part, I, I, I show the possibility of electron injection into the near electron state. Thank you very much for your kind attention.